Diddy disaster. What's one misconception about you? There are no misconceptions about me. Diddy's been in some hot water as of late. You know what I mean? Poor guy. So check this out. This here is a little snippet from wikipedia.org. Make sure to donate. <laughs> right? So, you know, the latest about Diddy. In late 2023, Cassie Ventura, with whom Combs, Diddy, had a long-term relationship, filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against him for sexual assault, which was settled out of court. In the following days, three more lawsuits were filed by additional claimants with similar allegations of misconduct ranging from 1991 to 2003. In the wake of the allegations, various companies and brands disassociated with his likeness or involvement. In March 2024, several properties owned by or tied to Combs were raided by the Department of Homeland Security as part of an ongoing investigation. They're going through Diddy Combs with a fine-tuned comb. Fine-tooth comb going through Combs, man. Poor old Diddy. He's been in some hot water as of late. You know, all these sexual misconduct allegations. And, you know, allegations of, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, to be all, in all due respect, in all respect to people of that walk and of that lifestyle, I mean, allegations of sexual misconduct, allegations of, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, in all due, in all due respect, I mean, you know, these allegations are surfacing against Diddy. And, um, you know, breaks your heart because, you know, there's, there's some good memories as well, you know. Every step I take, every move I make, you know. Seems like yesterday we used to rock the show. I lay the tracks, you lock the flow. Till the day we meet again in my heart is where I keep my friend. Give everything to hear half your breath. I know you're living your life after death. You know, there's some good memories of Diddy, you know. Breaks your heart to hear these sexual misconduct and, I mean, you know, allegations. Even against Diddy's son. Diddy's son apparently, um, you know, groped a waitress or groped a, I don't know, like a, she was like serving some appetites or some appetizers. Like some, some server was serving some appetites or whatever, appetizers, apps. They were eating some apps on a yacht or something. And I guess Diddy's son groped a stewardess or a usher or not usher usher but like a usher on a boat or you know like a usher that works like at a you know a usher a person who like they're like a servant not usher usher you know it's gonna burn for me to say this this is coming from the heart it's been a long time coming how should i stay in this relationship when i'm hurting baby i ain't happy baby yeah 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 next thing i knew I was all caught up, singing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that usher. I'm talking about like a, you know, like a waitress or a waiter. That type of an usher. Apparently Diddy's son groped an usher. An, uh, a waitress. While they were serving appetizers, you know, on the yacht. Now, up until this point, all allegations are, um... Well, all allegations against Diddy are informal. There have been no formal charges brought up against Diddy at the moment. And in terms of Diddy's son, yeah, he has some assault charges pending, but they're still in their infancy. And um, I don't know what weight they carry. You know, at the moment, they're kind of like loose allegations. Things are in the works. You know, nothing is definite at this point. A lot of conjecture still, a lot of, um, you know, innuendo, a lot of um, mystery. Um, some of it spawning from the infamous um, 50 Cent interview on uh, The Breakfast Club. Now, now, Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, is that no. affect your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call, no, I don't call, I don't call him gay. I said... Let yes. me read it. Let me read okay, it, read Fifth. It. Oh, my God. Sorry I can no longer That's help you guys. <laughs> Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner Thieves. In Peter's January. Oh, that's what I did. Then the thieves get tired. Yeah, let's come on. 
Yes, and he said, gay and happy. No, no, no. no. I'm just saying, you look, look. You always say, Jackson, like, that's why you're invited to pump party. For no reason. Listen, listen. I'm on saying that because of the, the what's the name interview? Lord. The drink champs. Yes, yes, yes. And he go, when they do when he do it, he says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he said something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like we need to party. <laughs> what is he talking yeah, about? Yo. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> the the going off. Stuff, the when people going. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, right, that's man. a nice gesture. Let's Let me get out. No, they, they, they take me there. Still with a guy says to a girl. That's true. You've been getting out of over Now, Fiddy went on there, and um, if you if you see the look on Fiddy's face, you know, when he goes, guys don't ask guys to go shopping. That's what guys say to girls. Guys take girls shopping. That's what guys do. Guys take girls shopping. I mean, you can't disagree with that. I mean, any red hot blooded male would, you know, you, you do get that look on your face when somebody, you know, and all due respect, when some dude gets a little, you know, he's getting a little fresh and, you know, you just, some guys acting like that around you, 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 you tend to get that look on your face. Like, no, did you take me to a guy says to a girl? <laughs> That's what you've been getting out of what, 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 What's all this about? I take girls shopping. Guys don't take me shopping. You know, you get that kind of, you get that look on your face, like the look that Diddy got on his face. Sorry, Fiddy. The look that Fiddy got on his face when Diddy tried to take Fiddy shopping. You know, it makes you sick to your stomach when a guy gets a little fresh. I mean, all, in, all, in all in all respect, you know, and, you know, in all due respect, I mean, you do kind of get a face like that, you know, it's, and I'm in a predicament because 50 at the moment is like, you know, the power television series, um, mogul, music mogul. He's branching out into television, film, the whole wackadoo, the whole spread, right? I'm in a predicament because um, I would love to work for Fiddy someday, but I wouldn't mind going shopping with Diddy someday. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, as an up-and-coming actor, such as myself, I would love to work for Fiddy someday, be in a movie with him, or, you know, maybe be a stunt double. You know, I might have to bulk up a little bit if I'm going to be a Fiddy stunt double. But, you know, maybe I'll be Fiddy stump double or stunt double, or maybe I can, you know, start hitting the weights, and I don't know. I would just love to be in a Fiddy film, right? So I'd love to work for Fiddy someday, but then again, I wouldn't mind going shopping with Diddy. Now, Diddy, if you're watching, this is an opportunity. If you play your cards right, Jonathan Ramtran of Jonathan Ramtran the podcast, up and coming actor, stand up comedian extraordinaire. Now, Diddy, if you play your cards right, this is a good opportunity for you to, you know, take a up and coming actor such as myself um, shopping. It could boost some of the, you know, we you know we make a TikTok video or something. You know, Diddy takes Jonathan shopping and. You know, it's no big deal. And, you know, as long as Diddy behaves himself, that's the caveat. All right, I'll go shopping with Diddy, but he has to behave himself. All right, all right, fit. All right, Diddy. I mean, like Fiddy said, don't be making me make no face like that. Like Fiddy said, Diddy, Diddy, don't make me do it. All right, don't make me make that Fiddy face at you, Diddy. All right, fair's fair. All right, no funny stuff, Diddy. If you want to take me shopping, I'll go shopping with you. I'll make a TikTok video with you. I'll stand by it. You know, this is an opportunity for you to take a young up-and-coming actor shopping, clear some of the air, make a normal piece of content for a change. Puff? Diddy? P. Diddy? Welcome to my home. There he is. Ready for his 73-question interview. You know the drill. Let's do this. Let's do it. Before we begin, how do I address you? You can call me Love. And you've referred to yourself differently over the years. So I gotta ask you, why so many name changes? It depends on my mood, my vibe. And Puff, where did that come from? I can't tell you that. <laughs> and, um, but you know, no funny stuff, Diddy. And I, I mean it. No funny stuff, all right? Fair's fair. No monkey business, all right? No peeking. You know, don't be pulling that shit like you ever go, sh you ever go shopping at like Winners or Macy's or something. And, you know, you can't even step one foot outside 
the change room without one of those little minions, one of those little cashiers buzzing up on you. So how did everything work out? Ah! I mean, how did everything work out? It was uh, awful. You call these pants? I could barely get my feet in them. Oh my God. Ah. Look, how did everything work out? There were, I don't know. It worked out just fine. Would you calm down? You, you ever be shopping at Winners and the cashier just buzzes up on you? How did everything work out for you? How many items did you bring in there? Ah! Right? As long as Diddy don't be doing none of that shit. Like I tell Diddy, wait for me at the register. Go wait at the register. You know, like, get the credit card out. Wait for me at the register, Diddy. Don't be popping up at the change room. How did everything work for you? Ah! No peeking, Diddy. I mean it. No funny stuff. No monkey business, all right? Diddy, you can take me shopping, but... It's a good opportunity for him when you think about it. And any actor or performer or musician, I mean, now's the time. That window is closing. I mean, there ain't going to be no more Diddy shopping sprees anytime soon. So get that bag while the getting's good, boy. That's what I say. I'll go shopping with them. I don't give a shit. Just no funny stuff. You know, you know what I mean? I mean? Come on. And I'll do respect to the communities. You know, just no funny stuff. But I do see Diddy's point in regards to Fiddy. Because, you know, Fiddy's calling out Diddy for Diddy trying to take Fiddy shopping. Which isn't quite fair. Because why can't, you know, if, if, why can't Diddy take Fiddy shopping if Fiddy wants to take us to the candy shop? Ding, 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 ding. So seductive. I take you to the candy shop. I look you like the lollipop. Go on, girl, till you hit the spot. Whoa, whoa. How do you want it? Are you going to back the thing up or should I push up on it, temperaturize it? Okay, let's go to the next level. Dance floor jam-packed, hard as a tea kettle. I'll break it down now for you, baby. It's simple. If you be a nympho, I'll be a nympho. In the hotel or in the back of the rental, on the beach or in the park, it's whatever you're into. Got the magic stick. I'm the love doctor. Got your friends talking about how sprung I got you. Show me what you're working with, baby, no problem. Get you up on there, bend your ass down like a lowrider. You're fucking with a seasoned vet. You know how I be doing this shit. I'm trying to explain to you, girl, best way I can. I'm melting your mouth, girl, not in your hand. Ha <laughs> ha. I take you to the candy shop. Whoa. Ask your friends how sprung I got you. <laughs> You know, you got Fiddy taking people to the candy shop. Why can't Diddy take people to the shop shop? You know? So seductive. If Fiddy can take people to the candy shop, why can't Diddy take people to the shop shop? That's all I'm saying. And, you know, Diddy, if you play your cards right, I'll go shopping with you. Just, you got to behave yourself. I mean it. No funny stuff. Love, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. <gasps> and Fiddy, if you're watching, I'd love to work for you someday. You know, we could get together on a project, you know. You know, I'm, I'm a good actor. Maybe I could be your stunt double. Like I said, I'll get into them. You could do all them push-ups to pump up your chest. I've got that 12 gauge Mossberg to pump up your chest. Have you fear in me like I fear God because I bring death? Silverback gorilla in the jungle, I'm the toughest one around. You know, like Fiddy, you know, I'll do some pump, I'll do some push ups to pump up my chest, be your, your body double, you know? So, anyway, God bless Fiddy. Keep doing your thing, you know, he's doing some major things in the, uh, you know, film, television, music industry. Much continued success to uh, Fiddy and uh, Diddy. Um, God bless, all the best, and the benefit of the doubt until the true answers come out. You know, we, I mean, we really don't know. Guy just likes to take people shopping, you know what I mean? I asked 50 about that. He said you did the same thing to him, you asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> What? I'm a nice guy. What the fuck? Yo, what? I mean, why are you with him? Just, hey, yo. Why y'all got Hey, yo, I don't have no beef with, 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 I don't know why. With, with Fifth. He loves me. 
Hmm. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see. No, we can't see. Y'all can't it, see man. that he loves me. But see, you really hold on. You really think that's hate? You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like you. You know he loves me. I don't think he like okay. you. Okay. And he also kind of alluded to it in that, uh, you know, that classic uh, homage or the the the, the, the classic uh, song for uh, Notorious B.I.G. You know. I remember in the times when we used to shop for new clothes and kicks. Till the day we meet again, and my heart is where I keep my friend. Give anything to hear half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death. You know, he said something about that, you know. Remembering the days when we used to shop for new clothes and kicks. Maybe it's just like a... Maybe it's just like a throwback to like the earlier times when he was starting his career and he was hanging out with Biggie and, you know going on shopping sprees at the mall and stuff like that you know it's fun you know and did he take me shopping it's all good you know you know brother love takes me shopping and he's like you know you know so did you like shopping with me I'm like yeah it was pretty fun did he what are you doing for dinner i'm busy that's all you know just no funny stuff again Ha, 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 ha.